Yeah, so wonderful to have you on the Burnout Show. I am Dr. Fee, the burnout expert. I am an eye surgeon, but I'm on a mission to save one million lives from burnout, as I almost died from it twice myself. Um, mm -hmm. So I love talking to other health coaches and wellness coaches like you, Marlisa Darish, whom everybody can reach at gmail.com. Um, is, is that okay if I say that? Yeah, of course. <laughs> And I would love to hear you talk about how does toxins in our environment, because when I was first burned out, and for a year, the doctors didn't know what was wrong with me and I lost everything. And then I finally ended up at a functional doctor uh, who said like, oh, you've got all these toxins in your blood and all these viruses also. So the first thing I did was to have all my mercury fillings removed mm -hmm. and that after six weeks to six months, I started slowly getting better. So that's just one of the toxins that I have personally experienced that a lot of people are walking around with at the moment, especially um, people who had fillings done 10, 20 years ago. Or Because, uh, you know, my dentist, when they put it in, they, complete, they thought it was complete nonsense when I asked for white fillings. So, I mean, now everybody's woken up, I hope. And... Um, children don't get those feelings anymore. But yeah, this is just one of my personal experiences, but I'm sure you can share uh, some things with us that we can implement because I'm sure we're surrounded by toxins in everyday life and some of them we can actually avoid, which would help us with our general health, well-being, and um, uh, having more energy. So I'll, uh, I'll leave you to explain what you know about these things. Sure. So just to explain a little bit about myself and how I came upon this journey, I feel like we all have our stories and it's why we do what we do, right? So when I was in my early 20s, I had just finished with my double master's degree from college. And I, within a few months, I started to get this um, terrible chronic pelvic pain. I went, and I'm not exaggerating when I tell you, I went to five, six hospitals over 30 doctors. I went to my primary who would refer me to an OBGYN. They would send me back to um, primary or to a GI and everyone would refer me, refer me to someone else. Yeah, <laughs> and I yeah. said, I've already been there. They're telling me to come to you. So um, no doctor could find out what was wrong with me and it was debilitating. I, I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything. So I came across a doctor that said he would he, I would have to get surgery, like a laparoscopic surgery to see what was going on. He's like, I think I know what it is, but we'll do the surgery. So of course, being that I just graduated school and started a new job, I was in between that insurance for us. Like usually we have to wait a, like a three month minimum. So I didn't have insurance. Mm -hmm. So in order to have surgery, you have to have insurance. I was like, okay. So I ended up being able to get the procedure done. And I woke up and he told me I had endometriosis. I had pelvic floor dysfunction and I had pelvic congestive syndrome. And I was like, what? what? <laughs> so, um, I, you know, not knowing, I just, I had no idea. So I never, people, endometriosis, I don't know if you're familiar with it. Yes. It wasn't as common 10 years ago mm. as, I mean, now it's a little more like PCOS, endometriosis. In general, women, us as women have a lot of hormonal issues infertility, yeah. hormonal imbalance. I mean, I can, I can count so many people of friends and family that I know that have issues. And so it's becoming a real problem. Mm -hmm. And I had, I ended up long story short, I had three different surgeries within a year and a half time frame, different doctors. And my pain was, did not go away. So I went back to multiple doctors and I tried just to get opinions because everyone kept telling me, these were my, um, my options at the time were, uh, someone told me to get pregnant. I think a male doctors told me that. And then I, I was told, um, I could have surgery every six months or a year. Um, I could go on Lupron, which is a very strong drug that people take for prostate cancer, or I can go on continuous birth control. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I, I, you know, I was 25. I'm like, I don't see myself going, I don't like, I, I don't, I want to find the root problem. They were trying to treat my symptoms, which a lot of those were just 
suppressing my symptoms for temporary. And I was like, I want to find the root cause. Like I want to fix it. I don't want to have to have surgery or or do any of these things. Mm. So I started to do some digging, do some research. And then I came across how important, um, I mean, it took me a little while, but food, food, and then products that we're putting on our body. So everything you're putting in your body, things you're putting on our body and how important that it was because we do live in a world where there are toxins, we're surrounded by it. It's going to be in the air. It's going to be in our water. It's going to be in our food. And it's going to be in all the products that we're using. It's even in the walls and in the paints. Yeah. Yeah. So there is, you know, I, I'm, you know, th- you know, and I'm so honored to be here and, you know, thank you for having me, but I'm, I want to, you know, my goal is to empower, you know, everyone that's listening. I want everyone to take control of your own health and well being because you are the gatekeeper of your own home. So it's up to you. True that, yeah. <laughs> um, so synthetic chemicals, yeah. they're found in almost everything that we use as we discuss. Yeah. So your yeah. food and drink, think cosmetics, your furniture, even electronics, yeah. and even children's toys, as yeah. terrible as that sounds. You know, I talk to a lot of moms and yeah. just, they're like, oh, well, you know, it's safe. Like they wouldn't put it out there. Why, you know, it wouldn't be on the market or on the shelves if it's not safe. I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Unfortunately, we don't live in a world where that's the case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I think U.S. actually has more lax rules than you do. Yes. Um, but they true. still, it's still overall, we still have a lot of issues that, you know, they're, yeah. they're not everything's banned. There's a lot of things that get left. But us as women, too, with our routines, we probably on average, I, there's a couple studies that I've done, but we we put around 200 chemicals daily on our skin. So mm-hmm. that's from showering. Think of your, your body wash or so of your shampoo, your conditioner, and then all of our skincare makeup. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then, you know, lotions. We, so we put, you know, an average up to that amount. So mm-hmm. a couple things that I always recommend, you know, top, top changes to make is number one, read labels. And now this is going to be challenging if you're very new to this. So uh, with when you're reading labels, you have to watch out for greenwashing. Have you ever heard that term? Yeah, they give it like another name so that you don't recognize the toxin, right? Is that what it means? Kind of. So greenwashing is a process. It's actually, it's a term used to convey a false impression that they purposely mislead you. So especially like for the environment, you know, oh, everyone wants to be more environmentally conscious. So they'll say a hundred percent pure yeah. or natural yeah. environment, environmentally friendly Think They'll use these words yeah. so that when you look at a product and you pick it up, you think you're making a better choice for you and yes. your family. Yeah. Not always the case. So, and I, I don't, I, I know for the U S like some top companies that come to mind, I don't know if they're there, but um, there's, uh, they're they're everywhere so if you don't know like just read labels mm. for food wise you know if you can't pronounce it you probably shouldn't buy it <laughs> so when you turn over that food if you can't read it or there's a long list of ingredients just put it back just put it back yeah. on the shelf yeah no processed um, food is the safest way to just uh, buy raw foods and cook it yourself yeah. and Go organic whenever you can. Um, I, would, I do believe in that, and it tastes so much better when it's fresh. In any case, than when it's processed. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. And you can feel it. If oh, you, absolutely. If you, yeah. Mm, yeah. Now I I have a lot of beauty products that just smell beautiful, and I'm sure they're full with toxins. I just don't know which products to trust. So I, I don't really feel like reading all the labels. I was hoping you would tell us this is something you can trust. Yeah, and yeah. You know, no. Like plain, really plain original. They used to call it the Marseillaise soap. It's like a very basic soap that I thought was kind of pure, but maybe it's not true anymore. Yeah, I also want to mention like, how did we get that? And not only are a lot of these companies um, unmorally lying to us, but to have plastic in the ground and in the water, it's so sad. And I don't know whether we can ever turn this around anymore for our planet. But I hope 
that the clever people out there will come up with a way so that we stop destroying our water source and the grounds and all the things that we use to eat and drink uh, because we we kind of we can't survive as a human species unless the planet keeps on providing food for us and if the soils are poisoned and the water is poisoned then you know um, it's not looking good for you for our human survival unfortunately and as a doctor i see more and more catch uh, more and more uh, cancers and i am sure it has something to do with pollution that we have caused ourselves as humans to the planet. Um, but I'm great that people like you are like waving the red flags and at least there are some things that we can control. So go ahead, what can we control? So I'll give you a couple things to, to look out for, to watch out for top ingredients. There are a lot, but I'm all, I will also come back to your point that you mentioned before, I promise. Okay. Um, so top ingredients you want to look out for. So if whatever you have at home to turn around, Number one is going to be perfume or fragrance. Mm -hmm. You see that and you just, and it's going to be in a majority of your products. Okay. So what that is, it's an umbrella term. So that one ingredient could technically be 50, a hundred. It could be all these different chemicals and they're allowed to term it as just a fragrance. Mm. A lot of issues, um, a lot of issues with allergies, in general, with all these chemicals, which we'll go into, they're going to be um, carcinogenic, hormone disruptors, endocrine disruptors. Mm. They just they mess with our bodies, which is why it's so important. Um, sulf um, sulfates, you'll see that it's a it's a, makes things sudsy. It's going to be more in your laundry, your soaps, uh, thalites. Mm -hmm. um, PEG. So you'll see it's going to be capital and it's going to be PEG and there's going to be a number after it. So just anything that you see the PEG, that's just one you want to avoid as well. Mm -hmm. Parabens mm -hmm. and petroleum. Yes. So those are a good starting point for that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it, a lot of times people are overwhelmed at first because it's, well, I don't know what products to choose. I don't, you know, it's a lot. And if you you know, I've been doing this for so long. In the beginning, I did search every ingredient one by one. So yeah. now, you know, now I know what to look for. But for anyone that's new, it can be overwhelming. You know, well, yeah. you have all these things and it's like, well, where do I start? Mm -hmm. So what I normally recommend and, you know, I work with people all the time and, you know, everyone's different. Not every, some people are like, just, just, you know, I want to ditch everything and they want to go full on and some people don't. So what I say is when you're done a product that you know isn't good for you, you use it up and then you switch to a better option. You know, start that way, just slowly incorporate it. The other one is um, we start with a room in your house. So like, let's take the kitchen, let's, let's throw everything out and let's work on replacing everything in the kitchen. Then we'll do your bathroom cabinet, okay? We'll do your makeup. So we, we go room by room. Mm. Um, That's a very good plan. And at the same time, you can clutter keep clutter clear yeah <laughs> yeah you so I, I have two questions uh, if i may interrupt mm -hmm. so um yes i can ditch the perfumes because i have really good quality essential oils that i could use instead which i've been told don't have uh, toxins in it i'll double check uh, and um the second thing is i like to cook like every day but um, most of my pans have teflon on it which I believe is also very toxic and um, cancerogenic, uh, but it makes cooking so much easier. So I want to ditch them, but there's not much, if I take a normal um, skillet, which is just made out of metal, oh, it's so hard. Do you have any tips on, on how not to burn your meat and stuff like that? <laughs> so it is a challenge ditching that because it's so easy. Um, so there's a certain way to cook. So you can use cast iron is okay. Mm -hmm. you, so you can use that for meats. Um, the stainless steel, you have to cook on a low temperature and you have to put the oil in first, Yeah. let it heat up and then put whatever you're going to put in it. it. I mean, it's not, it's in the beginning, you're just like, everything sticks and you're like, why? <laughs> <laughs> um, 
there's a couple companies out there that uh, ceramic is also safe. So yeah. ceramic might be a better option where it can slide a little yeah. more easily. Okay. But yeah, any with the and that Teflon, it is bad, but it's even worse when it's um, it's yeah, because that means it's leaching out. Yeah. So at all, if you see it that it's been um, cut through at all, just like it's really bad. Like you want to get rid of it. I'll do that tomorrow because unfortunately, yeah, it happens. I always tell the people in my kitchen, don't touch it with a sharp object, but it always happens. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, they are going. Okay. You've convinced me. Yeah. <laughs> and cleaning products are, I would say, you know, things to switch out to make a priority. I would say cleaning products are probably number one for women, skincare and makeup. Yeah. Um, and then in general, beauty products, even think of like our nail polish. Uh, yeah, I don't think there is a healthy alternative for nail polish because it's yeah. not a natural thing to do. So there are better options. They came okay. out with this. It's called, um, I'm trying to think what they, they termed it, but you'll see like seven free, six free and like Zoya. I don't know. There's Zoya. There's a couple companies that are they've gotten rid of the top chemicals. So while they're not 100%, it's at least a better option. They might have taken out the toluene and the formaldehyde and a phthalate. Okay. So there are safer options, which I, that was probably one of the last things I switched because I, I, I was like, oh, there's no way it could be natural. Yeah, I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they're, you know, almost, almost everything. You know, I would always say like, ditch all your plastics, opt for yeah. glass. Yes. Even your plastic bottles, you know, switch to a silicone or a stainless steel. I've got some bamboo cups now, you know, reusable coffee cups from bamboo, and they're actually really nice. Um, that's okay, I guess. I hope. But yeah, yeah I like the metal great. metal containers. Bef uh, definitely plastic. It, it just even when I was a child, I always complained when my mother used to put my lunch in the plastic box. I always said like, it tastes horrible uh, <laughs> because the chemicals leach out in the food. I mean, it was so obvious to me. Um, so yeah, I'm not a big, I'm not a fan of plastic whatsoever. I completely yeah. agree with that. It's just that the glass containers are so heavy and breakable. And uh, if you have to give them to your kids, you know, you never see them back. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh. make, they make different ones for kids. It's more really? of a, they like stainless steel. Oh yeah, they're good. Okay, so yeah. I use that for kids. Hmm. But I do, I mean, it is heavier, but honestly, I've come to a point in my life where it's not worth it. Hmm. I mean, there might be a, a certain things, but if we travel, like go to the beach one day, all the snacks are, are packed in glass. Oh, you know what they do have now? They have silicone bags. So instead of using like a Ziploc or even glass, yeah. you can, they're reusable silicone bags. So you can put grapes or cashews or whatever you want. And it's a... Hmm. Something you I've can never, switch I've out. never seen that. Why, where can I find that? I can give you, I mean, there are some stores that carry them. You can get them online too, even like Amazon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's great. I'm going to have a look into that. But yeah, those, those Ziploc bags. Oh, we've wasted so many of those over the years. It's just scandalous. That but and plastic wrap you can switch out to beeswax wraps and they're reusable Ooh, yeah that's great okay. yeah that's some a lot of things i'm gonna write Those down yes wow i didn't know that existed yeah. that's awesome that sounds a lot better yeah, yeah. Uh, so and that's why i have for skin products or skin care that um natural things that don't contain that many chemicals yes so over the years because i've been doing this for some time what, what I find happens, you know, and this is what I was doing in the beginning is somebody would come to me and say, Hey, I'm using this. Can you, can you vet it for me? So I would research it and I would say, okay, um, you know, maybe that one's okay. Maybe this one product is okay, but in general, the company is not really great or which to your point is if you just want to, you want to make it easy. Like I just yeah. want to buy the products. I don't want to have to think about it. Right. Yeah. And um, people always tend to come to me when they're pregnant because they want the best prenatal. They want, you know, they want, they start to care a little bit more about what they're, the toxins that they're putting on their skin. Yeah. So, you know, I had people, I had someone coming to me 
you know, years ago asked me for a recommendation. And what happens to these smaller companies that we know of that are clean is they get bought out. Oh, they get bought out by the pharma companies. And it's just unfortunate because, you know, and now that same person got pregnant again three years later and thought that that product was still okay. Meanwhile, they're owned by Nestle yeah. and they're not okay. <laughs> and they've changed their ingredients. It's, it, you know, it's not the same. So mm. I, it just made me so upset. And I, I always just want to help everyone. And what I ended up finding was there is a company and they're located um, in the UK too. So Young Living. I work with them and they have essential oils. They're very good, high quality. So I know there is difference between quality of essential oils. Um, The way they've started, they own all their own farms and partner farms. And it's true. It's that so organic isn't perfect. It's always a better option, but it's, it can still have pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. So the soil can't be touched for 50 years. Organic in the U S I know is, I think it's three or five years that the soil can't be, you know, have chemicals on it, but glyphosate is its own thing. So I mean, yeah. there's other issues with it. So, you know, the standards with Young Living, they call it uh, seed to seal and it's nothing like I've seen. And I've, I'm, there are other companies, I know they're only in the US for some other things, mm-hmm. but um, they are, it's a global company and it's great because it's not just essential oils, which is what I thought it was years ago. They have supplements, they have makeup, they have skincare, they have a baby line, they have a kid line, they have a pet line, they have a CBD line. Um, There's a whole cleaning product line. So it's, it's very, for the most part, I'm not saying every single product, but you can, it's, you don't have to think about it and they don't use any questionable ingredients. Okay. So it's a good way to like ditch whatever you have at home and just kind of start. They have a rewards program. And I will say for cleaners, I don't know about you, but I used to have Febreze. I used to have a stainless steel cleaner. I had my Windex for glass and then I had an all purpose. And then I had all my bathroom stuff. Yeah. I've been able to replace all of those cleaning products with one thing. I don't have the bottle right here, but um, it's a, you take, so the bottle is about this big and it's, concentrated and it's you put one capful in a 16 ounce bottle (coughs) and you fill the rest up with water yeah and this will last that one bottle and I have two kids and three bathrooms the one bottle will last me over a year and it's all purpose it does windows it does stainless steel any type of you know hardwood floors granite you name it and you can use it so I've replaced all of that crap I used to use with just one thing so it's That's been amazing. Really yeah. You have so much space also. <laughs> That's a great tip. Wow. Wow. I've got a lot of things to do in the coming weeks. Thank you for all of that information. That's really valuable. Of course. Well, thank you so much. So uh, when people want your advice, um, I've already kind of gave a hint to your email address, but what's the best way? And I'll write that down under the video. Um, what's the best way for people to contact you or to work with you? Sure, you can. Uh, my email works. I um, I also have, I have my website. Mm-hmm. There's some things I'm still um working on it with, but my website is uh, it's www.crunchy with a K, so it's k r u n c h i kitchen.com. Yeah, and I have some plant-based recipes on there. Um, if you're in the U.S., I have I make my own organic elderberry syrup. I make vegan cheeses. Ooh. So, nice. well, that is very very entrepreneurial of you. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Um, this is a lot to take in. It was, was great value for me. I really appreciate your time and and you sharing your knowledge. And um, yeah, if we ever do. Uh, our burnout summits you definitely have to come back and give you some more tips like that it is awesome um, there will be people yeah there will be people listening from all over the world but it's good that you found the uk brand because i'm definitely going to explore that myself 
Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, well, I'll definitely check out your website. You might have some more tips on there. And um, it was really, really nice meeting you. Do you have any final words? <laughs> um, the only thing I would say is, um, you know, with you can, um, I have my Facebook group, so Toxin Free Clean Living. And with that, there's different options, just like we mentioned how you can ditch the plastic and then move on to something else. So I have options on things around your house you might not even think of that you want to replace. So, you know, anyone's welcome to join that group too. You know, you can ask advice and I'm always here to do many consultations as well. So, yeah. you know, we vote with our dollars and I don't like supporting monopolies out there and that, you know, we can support local and we can support healthy companies. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. What a movement. Well, I feel very blessed to have met you and I'm sure we will meet again in the future. So stay well, keep up the good work. <laughs> I will. Thank you so much for having me. That's my pleasure. Um, before I start the recording, I've just launched a new little program called Energy and Time Booster because I want to help as many people as possible um, to kind of learn how to preserve their energy and how to boost their energy in natural ways, uh, also with food. And then I have this whole productivity program so that you can have more time and better sleep and things like that. So I will put the link also under the video for that. And that's just my personal update. And um, again, thank you so much for your time. Uh, that was awesome. I'm really, really grateful for that. Thank you.